All right, guys, just wanted to show this tank here really quick. Kind of a follow-up video from my previous. Of course, the Oscar is going absolutely crazy. Just turn the light on. I'm gonna make it quick. That's not to agitate him too much. Um, but both Lima Catfish is doing well. Obviously, the Oscar uh, doing his thing. The Viha looking, uh, looking really good. Um, but here's this guy. That's my uh, Bucachroma spectabilis. Um, as I said in my previous video, he was uh, being a super bad guy to the, uh, a lot of the other fish. He's uh, killed a few of them. In here though, um, just to give you guys an idea, he's an eight inch fish. I, I measured him when I pulled him out, like seven and three quarters to eight inch. So he's right there. Just a kind of a size perspective. So he's got good size to him. But when you see him, uh, let's see if I can get, um, you know, in perspective, I mean, these guys are much, much bigger. Um, you know, and I understand distance plays a, plays a role in this too. Let's see if I can get him here. I mean, you can see him pretty much next to the bowfin. Um, I mean, that bowfin is probably every, every bit of 14, 15 inches. Uh, the pike, everything else, uh, all, all really good sized fish. He does hold his own. I mean, you see his fins um, look really good. I mean, the guy's acclimated himself really well. Um, I'm probably going to give him one more chance in the uh, in the uh, you know the African cichlid half tank, just to see how it goes. You see the Lima catfish looks like he wants to try to eat him. Uh, I mean, that Lima's a you know, solid size fish too. I mean, he's probably, like I said, guessing 15, 16 inches, um, maybe even a hair more. Um, Vulture cat sitting up there, just chilling. He's doing really well in here. But um, I don't know. I, I put him in here because he was being such a pain in the ass. Thought he'd maybe get beat up a little bit, put in his place, and uh, you know, I could kick him over. But he's definitely holding his own. Um, funny now now that I have the uh, camera on it typically he kind of just sits over there and the guys just leave alone now they're kind of following around but you can see the lenticulata um you know like I said eight inch fish versus this guy here who I mean he's probably pushing every bit of 11 12 inches uh, and then the atabapo that big atabapo nice size fish too but even like the little Mayan and then the Vihar see the size I mean it's just it's crazy to think that he's that colored up and in a tank like this where he's he's definitely one of the smaller fish but it is what it is um, I'm gonna give him a I'm gonna probably try to make this transfer here today I'm gonna do some water changes um, I mean part of me says why 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 fix it or <laughs> Well, I try to change it when it's not broke, but the, at the same time, I do really want to get him over there. He, he looks a lot better over there. Um, and then if you see all these fish, I mean, just a lot of size in these fish. Um, I kind of want to clear some clear some space so that these guys aren't all seemingly on top of each other. So that little Raphael cat popped out. But, uh, you know, there's that bowfin, massive fish. All right, guys, that's all I really got for this one. I uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see what happens with the old Spectabilis. I mean, the color is just amazing on him. Um, he's really too nice of a fish to just be kind of relegated. But um, I, honestly, his color in here, because of the, a lot of these South Central American fish, you know, they don't have that kind of blue color. Kind of looks pretty cool. So, I mean, if he doesn't... Uh, doesn't play nice over in the other tank. I might just keep them in here and then just uh, just roll with it. So that's all I got for this one. If you have any uh, questions, comments, by all means, put them in the down below. I'll definitely get to them. But that's it for this one, guys. Until next time. Remember, they're just stupid fish videos. Take care. Later.